Our lovable pink puffball is back at it with Kirby Planet Robobot. This is Kirby's second foray on the Nintendo 3DS. Much like its predecessor, Triple Deluxe, it adds one major gameplay mechanism with a few minor scattered around. This time, the Robotic Invaders, the Haltman Works Company, turns Dreamland into a robotic planet and seeks to take over. What makes this special is that not only have these invaders run rampant, but it gives Dreamland a robotic aesthetic to the world. Enemies have features like robotic eyes, arms, and even weapons. This brings the world alive and gives it that nuance Kirby games are known for. Much of the same tried and true abilities are back, like the sword, beam, and fire. Three new copy abilities are introduced. These three are great additions to Kirby's backlog of abilities he has at his disposal and only adds to the fun factor these games are known for. This huge bipedaled armor suit can either be acquired by defeating an enemy who's wearing it or just picking it up where it's strategically placed in the level. Once you jump into the armor, you turn into a Robobot Kirby. The most exciting part of the suit is that it can actually use copy abilities as well, which brings an entirely new depth to gameplay. Each ability is similar to Kirby's, but overall is adapted to fit the armor. I found myself excited to try each ability to see what surprises there were, and I even caught myself going back to previous ones I've used. The Robobot armor, without question, is the selling point of the game. The engine is the same as Triple Deluxe, and it definitely shines on the 3DS. Turning on 3D is very pleasant and easy on the eyes, unlike other 3DS games. It's also well implemented in the game, adding depth to the foreground and background when switching back and forth between each of them. Adding to the already fun and entertaining story mode, Kirby Planet Robobot adds 5 minigames. Meta Nightmare Returns, Kirby 3D Land, Team Kirby Clash, The Arena, and The True Arena. Team Kirby Clash is a highlight of all the minigames. Kirby, along with a partner, go out and defeat bosses. Unlike Star Mode, there are RPG elements to this game. I spent a long time on this minigame after being Story Mode as I felt like an all new game in itself. With all these new gameplay mechanics, 3 new abilities, 5 great addicting minigames, and lots of stickers and items to collect, this is a solid and worthwhile Kirby game for anyone who's looking for a great experience. At about 7 hours for the Story Mode, but with so much more being dedicated to all the minigames, this is a title that can be picked up by casual and diehard gamers alike.